Hello everybody, this is David Quartieres, co-founder of Arduino, <clears throat> and I'm uh, suspecting that the microphone is not working. Yeah, it's working. So welcome to the Arduino Livecast uh, number three, session three. And uh, this week we're going to start a new project, and it's going to take several uh, several days to build it. Uh, but we will we made sure that the whole event of building will be self-contained, so that if you won't miss anything, if you miss one day, because every day will <clears throat> just show a little, a, little step, a little step towards building something. The thing we're going to be building is a weather station. And the idea is, that, as you know, that uh, 2019 is Arduino Education Year in Space. And we're going to build different things that have to do with the whole idea of learning about space. And weather stations are one of the things that help us understanding more and more about the Earth as part of the universe. And so we're going to be building a <clears throat> an anemometer today, which means a machine that can measure the speed of the wind. In order to do so, we, uh, thanks to the help of Carl and Josephine, we've prepared um, a small uh, kit together, uh, uh, sorry, including an Arduino Uno, a, bro a breadboard, an LCD screen, <clears throat> A potentiometer that is used to control the the contrast of the LCD, a battery, a bunch of wires, and an anemometer sensor. So we could build our own sensor, but we decided to go for purchasing an existing sensor because we want this uh, weather station to be very accurate, and we will install it outside of the shed so it actually measure measures uh, data in real time and publishes it online. So we'll go step by step in this process as the program advances. Today, we will focus just in reading data from this anemometer sensor. <clears throat> so, how does the sensor look like? Uh, well, the sensor uh, has a small device inside that's measuring uh, the different turns. And thanks to the uh, voltage we are administering to it, it will be giving us an analog signal that we can read inside the Arduino. And that analog signal can be turned into the amount of turns per second or per minute. And that's how we measure the speed of the wind. And this is a circuit we're gonna be building, or actually have already built here to save some time. And as you see, it, the thermometer is powered with a different uh, power source. In this case, this is a nine volt battery that will power the whole circuit. And it will share the ground with the Arduino board and the LCD screen. And uh, that cable that you see in there, <coughs> The blue one is going to connect to an analog input. And by reading this analog input and making a small mathematical operation on it, we will be able of calculating the actual speed of the wind. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. So if you're thinking about building this kind of device for your own uh, garden or for your school or whatever, it's super straightforward and it's very simple to build it and to use it. So <clears throat> uh, I'm just double checking that the Transmission is fine and it looks like it's fine. So let's uh, take a quick look at, at uh, everything else. So we have a, an LCD screen here. And the idea behind the LCD screen is we're going to be um, uh, displaying the speed of the wind directly on the screen. And as you see, we're using only uh, a four bit uh, data uh, from the Arduino board down to the LCD and a couple of pins that will be used to enable the um, the the screen <clears throat> and and set it to to receive data. Um, finally, the potentiometer you see up here is used to uh, uh, control the contrast of the screen. Uh, you might think, how does what does this thing about the contrast? Well, I will show you very quickly because I have everything mounted down here already. Just let me let me take a look at this. And here you see this uh, anemometer up here, and here is the here's the screen. And the, the contrast on an LCD screen is determining how strong is the actual LCD area, which is where we see the information versus the background light. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go back to, to me. So the, the next step is to take a look at the code that we're gonna be using for the project. And um, <clears throat> the code is pretty simple and really straightforward, so we're gonna take a look at it. and. You will quickly understand how everything works. Let me just select the right option here. And here we go. Yeah, so here's the Arduino code. 
I don't see the Arduino code is uh, is based on a previous project made by Joe Borg in 2014. Uh, many of the projects that we show at the Arduino Livecast are highlighting projects made earlier by the community, and we just want to showcase these projects so that more people can learn about them and can use them, for example, at their school or other personal projects. Um, we're going to be using the Liquid Crystal library, and this library <coughs> is used to uh, very easily configure the different pins that will be used for the Liquid Crystal display. And as you see, the pins uh, 5 to 2, 5, 4, 3, and 2 are used to send the data. Uh, we will cut the, the data into nibbles, which means groups of 4 bits. And the pins 12 and 11 are used to control the screen. So it's sending, uh, enabling the screen and, and telling you that we're going to be writing data and so on and so forth. On the other hand, we're going to use a couple of variables, which are double, which is uh, large uh, comma numbers or floating comma numbers. And <coughs> this will be used uh, uh, down there, uh, we will see it later, to make some mathematical operations. And we have uh, the wind sensor pin, it's going to be the analog, analog pin 1, the maximum voltage that we expect from the measurements, which is 2 volts, and the minimum voltage, which is going to be 0.4 volts. So this is the voltage expected at the input of the analog pin. So as you know, the analog pin on an analog, on a Arduino Uno can measure between 0 and 5 volts. And with this, what we're going to see is how we calculate the... Um, we will have to make a calculation to, to map the 5 volts, uh, or sorry, the 2 volts as the maximum information, so we can then map it into the speed and so on and so forth. So if we had a sensor that was able of giving, at, giving us a higher voltage, we should just, just change it here. But the, the sensor we're using right now can only give us a maximum of 2 volts. Then we have a voltage conversion constant, and this is uh, used uh, to make the mathematical conversion of the of the voltage into speed. And uh, then we have the wind speed, minimum and maximum. That we would use this to to map the voltages into speeds, so that then we can say, okay, we have a wind speed of this many turns per second or meters per second or whatever. <coughs> so on the setup, we turn on the LCD screen. Uh, it's going to be a 16 character screen, two rows, and we turn on the serial port so we can see information being printed on the serial port monitor if we want to. On the other hand, um, uh, we can make the system work without the Arduino board because we can see the data directly on the LCD screen, but this is not going to be the case. In our case, we're going to be uh, both checking out the serial port monitor to see what we're reading and the information on the LCD screen. Uh, so here you see in the next line, uh, already in the loop, that we read the analog signal, and we make some mathematical operations on it. So the sensor value, which is going to be a number between 0 and 1023, but since the voltages are between 0.4 and 2 volts, uh, it will be just a very tiny range of uh, the full range of this, we make a conversion of the sensor value to know exactly which is the voltage we're getting. And based on the voltage, we will get the voltage conversion. And this will help us make the following operation that's going to give us, as a result, the actual speed of the wind. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just uh, interacting live with, uh, with people in the audience. Somebody's commenting. Uh, as you can see on the chat, that for using the LCD display, we could be using an I2C converter. This particular uh, trick, of course, is very is very handy. You could also use an SPI screen, but that makes the screen much more expensive. So we decided to go for this particular screen because we had plenty of pins on the Arduino Uno. And these kind of screens are very, very cheap. So you can find them for as, as little as one euro because they are really old screens. And <clears throat> just to show this, uh, to show off a little bit is, is good enough. But anyway, you're right. We could have, if we had more things connected to the Arduino, it would be convenient to have an I2C screen or an SPI screen or even a serial screen to display data. Let, going back to the operations we were discussing about, we see how the, uh, uh, the this if statement is checking out whether the voltage is below a minimum, because if the voltage is below a minimum, we should consider that the wind speed is zero. And then, otherwise, 
the wind speed is calculated based on the sensor voltage minus the voltage minimum and multiplied by the maximum speed and divided by <coughs> the uh, ma maximum voltage difference and a constant. Mm -hmm. So with this operation, we can get the actual wind speed that then we can uh, print out further down using these uh, classic serial print lines and print it out on the screen by setting the cursor on the beginning of the screen, printing out the word wind speed, change into a different place, print out the value, print the white space and print out that is meters per second. So it becomes super, super simple to make this and this will be the first step towards building this functional uh, weather station that we will install out there uh, after building step by step. So if everything works fine and uh, we connect to the serial port, I will just make sure that we have the right the right uh, board. One second, because you can see these operations. I will change to the desktop view and the desktop view here. And you can see now how I select the right board, which is Arduino Uno. it down here it is and the right board which is con 16. I, I don't need to upload the code because I, I uploaded the code before i started the program i will just save you the time i just will open the serial port monitor so i open the serial port monitor and here we're getting data from the system and the first value printed is the latest wind speed and the second one is a sensor voltage uh, if we take a look at the top view, you will see that this is what the sensor is throwing right now. And it's because of a glitch on the, on the wires, because for real there is no measurement. So if I go back to the desktop, you'll see how the measurement is okay. I will try to have everything at once. There you have everything at once. I'm going to move this a little bit so you can see the data see there's a glitch on the cables because i i don't have the most sturdy uh, cables for the voltage okay so <clears throat> if i now turn if i now turn the this faster you will see how the speed increases both on the serial port monitor but also on the screen on the lcd screen okay so that you get the idea uh the speed out here in uh in malmo can reach 80 kilometers per hour that's a really high speed uh, according to the software we plan here the maximum speed we can measure is 32 meters per second so you can make the conversion to see how fast we could measure with this system i think would be okay so uh yeah, that's it about about this uh, installation. You see, it's very, very simple, super straightforward. The code is super simple. And the only thing is how to combine this code with other parts of the code that will be, for example, reading how much rain we can capture, that we'll be reading which the external temperature and humidity and so on and so forth. Uh, let's just uh, just show with what was the inspiration for this, for this uh, program. We have to give a lot of credit to people in the community, as we said, uh, and there is a couple of projects out there. The do-it-yourself anemometer from Gigi Gadgets is, um, is, I think, is one of the main inspirations for this project. And uh, we can take a look at it. <coughs> if I just open this browser window and show it to you here. So this is the Gigi Gadgets article from 2016 from Julian Horsey. And here you see how it explains step by step how the anemometer sensor works. It dismounts one. And um, here you have the exact same that we are using for the project and explains how it's been wired up to measure. In this particular case, he's wiring it up from this uh, voltage in pin on the Arduino Uno because he's going to power it up from the DC barrel. In our case, since we were not doing that, I, we added an external battery to power up the anemometer. And depending on how much voltage you're gonna end up having here, that will give you the different maximum voltage when you're making measurements. And you will have to adjust 
the anemometer accordingly. Okay. So here you see, in this particular case, uh, he was displaying speed in miles per hour. And uh, in our case, we changed it so we could display the speed in meters per second because we're in Europe, uh, continental Europe, and we're using metric units and not imperial units. Okay, so this is one of the projects we wanted to talk about um, and give credit to because a lot of our code was inspiring this one. On the other hand, we have this other project out here, which is the weather station uh, from cactus.io. And uh, it's a very nice project uh, uh, showing an uh, Arduino-based weather station. And here you can see their website. And again, they should get a lot of credit because it's been inspiring for us to see this project. And we will be using some of their ideas later on. In this particular case, uh, I think it's worth mentioning that this shield is used in order to connect everything in a nice way. And if you want to know more about weather stations, you should take a look at this project again. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for attending our third uh, chapter of the Arduino Livecast, where we started building this weather station that will take us a couple of programs to build. We hope you liked it, and we'll see you soon on the internet. Thank you very much.